Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries presents Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Greetings to you in the most precious and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How do you discourage in your heart just because you feel there's no one to take care of you? At times do you feel so lonely just because there's no one beside you? Do you feel frustrated and dejected just because your future seems to be so bleak? Friend, here is a personal word to you from the Lord. Come on, open your Bible and read with me softly if you will. Isaiah Chapter 49, verses 14 to 16. Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget a suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of a womb? Yea, they may forget. Yet I will not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. How often in our distresses and difficulties We think the Lord hath forsaken us or forgotten us. In the above text, the Lord wants to show us how much He cares for us and watches over us. The Lord is asking a question, Can a woman forget a suckling child? Some mothers may forget their grown-up children at times, but a mother can hardly forget a suckling child as the child is helpless without her. But the interesting truth the Lord reveals here is, that even if the mother forgets a suckling child and does not have compassion on it, the Lord will never forget us. In another place in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10, the Lord promises, The mountain shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you. How mindful the Lord is of those who cling to Him, of those who trust Him like a baby does. The Lord says, I have graven thee, upon the palms of my hand. We can always see what is written on our palms unlike something written anywhere else. The Lord wants to assure us that just as a name that is engraved on the hand of a person is always before his eyes and therefore cannot be forgotten, the Lord can never forget us. Our names are not simply written but graven upon the palms of his hand. It is very painful to engrave something on our hand and whatever is engraved cannot either be erased so someone who loves us very dearly engraves the name of that person in her or in his hand how much the lord must love us then in that same passage the lord says thy walls are continually before me this wall stands for safety and security the lord says your safety and security are continually before me is watching over the wall so that no enemy can penetrate or gain access to the wall in sagaraya chapter 2 verse 5 the lord had promised that he will be a wall of fire around us the lord not only sets a wall of fire around us but he is also watching over the wall to protect us if there is a wall of fire around you the enemy cannot penetrate it he will be consumed in the fire if he tries to Oh dear child of God you are well protected and well cared for by the Lord so cast all your cares upon him today if the Lord careth for thee be thy self at rest said archbishop Linton we can confidently say this morning he careth he beareth i am graven in the palm of his hands he watcheth over me and he guideth me and he makes the bitter sweet to me therefore learn to rest in his preserving presence every moment of the day god bless you amen